Hello Marvel Strike Force fans, this is your friend, the Fasting Comic Guy here, and today is the Domino Day, a day that I am really excited for because Domino is a classic character in the comics that I have liked for a very, very long time. And she's got a pretty complicated background, and she even has a pretty complicated uh, origin story that even I can't really 100% grasp. Uh, but I will do my best to inform you a little about it. So, she had her first uh, kind of appearance in the New Mutants number 98, which was also Deadpool's first appearance, but that wasn't really her. It was a person called Copycat impersonating Domino. Her first actual first full appearance was in the X-Force number 8 back in 1992. And that wasn't like a full appearance, it was just a cameo. Her first full appearance was actually here in the X-Force number 811, and again, same year, 1992. And so, yeah, those are basically her first full appearances. So, a little bit more about her. She has had a little bit of a complicated, uh, uh, I guess, uh, origin thing. She was kind of experimented on when she was younger. And there was another person that actually has was indirectly connected to her that she didn't really actually know about till recently. And uh, basically, she got all the good luck and he got all the bad luck. And in the current like her first, like her most recent storybook that she was in charge of, which is called Hot Shots. She basically had made her own company with her two best friends called uh, Diamondback and Outlaw. And the three of them together, they ended up uh, doing a whole bunch of jobs. They got a boat and they got a chef. And yeah, they did, basically did a whole bunch of jobs together. And the guy in the that had all the bad luck, he basically didn't like Domino, obvious, for obvious reasons. And he kind of wanted to get revenge, even though she didn't really do anything to uh, cause it. Because, you know, she had no idea who he was. She was unaware of him. And, yeah, he blamed her for all the bad things in his, his life. So, basically, he tried to take away all of her luck because he figured if he took away her powers, his powers would kind of go away. And they actually were working like that. Although, eventually, he did die in the uh, comics and they kept going on. The next part of the story arc was basically a nice lady from Wakanda asked her to get a crate from some cult and the cult and she basically told her not to look in the crate. Well, when she got the crate, she looked in the crate and there was Morbius and yeah, that basically started a whole new uh, can of worms basically. So that was a fun uh, story thing going there and then after that she ended up working with uh, Black Widow and she had to get a ancient device that was kind of like, I think it was like shot in on like meter on the planet basically. Like it landed on the planet and uh, it's a fragment of like one of the Eternals. And basically if you touch it, you got like their powers and you kind of went a little crazy. So their job was to get it and take it away. And except Domino was like, I don't really want to help you get this thing because you're just going to give it to the government and the government's going to use it well, they're going to try to use it and it'll basically screw everything up. So she didn't like that idea and there were like other countries that wanted this thing. So eventually she kind of got everyone to work together. And when she got everyone to work together, they all agreed that they'll basically let Domino dispose of the object. So that's what happened there. She's also done some other like mini series like she did an x-force called uh, x-force sex and violence with wolverine and uh, that one got a little bit steamy as you can probably see in the uh, picture that i have here and actually it was a really good series i uh, it was only like a three comic series and yeah i think they did a pretty uh, good run with it uh she's also had romantic uh situations with uh colossus in the comics and she's also had a fling with uh gable and those are just the ones I can just think of off the top of my head. And yeah, she's been a pretty cool character. And she's like, she's like one of those like cool ones, basically, where you're like, hey, this Domino's going to show up. That means it's going to actually be kind of an entertaining uh, issue. So yeah, now we'll go into some more information about her and with her abilities. So her abilities are pretty, uh, pretty simple. Basically, she has subconscious telekinetic probability manipulation, she is an expert marksman, she is an expert martial artist, and has enhanced reflexes and agility. 
She has been affiliated with certain teams as the X-Men, X-Force, the 198, the Corporation, Underground, Six Pack, Weapon X, and actually one called Weapon X-Force. And like I said, she was also the creator of the Hot Shots. So yeah, that is Domino for in a nutshell. I uh, hope you appreciate a little bit of background on her in the comic books and it'll make you enjoy her character in Marvel Strike Force a little bit more. So I have purchased her orbs right now and we will see how things go if I am lucky or not on her orb opening. So here we go. Alright guys, so she is a 45 unlock. So the bundles that they had were two bundles and for me they were $35 each. I bought both of them just because, like I said, I really like Domino and I want to do my best to gear her up quite a bit. So, basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to just open up orbs to I unlock her. Then I'm going to attempt Seed Theory, where basically you spend 400,000 gold and pray to God that the thing actually gives you a good drop. So I'm going to open up orbs until she has that 45. And look at that, the first opening is the exact minimum that you can get at six. And six again, so I'm at 12. Three sixes in a row, you can't get any worse than that. Four sixes in a row. I got an eight, again, all greens. That is, wow, that is just laughably horrible. Okay, so now we will unlock her and spend 600,000, 400,000 gold and hope that that is just amazingly horrible uh, luck on her openings. Like, Fox next, you really suck. <laughs> Although I hear they're scopely now, so. So now I'll we'll just keep adding. There we go, 400,000. So, let's see if the seed theory actually works. Go back to here, and, well, green doesn't work. Blue, well, there's 20. Like, it would be nice if I got her a three star, but will we? Probably not. Look at that. Two sixes there. Like there's a 20. I guess that's that's something. Yeah, they don't want me to. Wow, this is. Uh... Not even. An... I'm not sure if I have enough to even get her up again. Okay, so I can get her up to three stars. It's quite sad. $70 and I got, well, as you saw, almost the exact bare minimum that you can possibly get on this character. So I'm going to spend another 400K. And let's open up some red star orbs and we will see how things go. Because I would like to get... So right now she has a 15% chance at being selected. Will we get lucky? I got 13 openings and I even have a... I will have two fours. So starting things off with a four star Invisible Woman duplicate. Hey, awesome. I'm going to stop right there. I got my four star domino and uh, that is actually quite sad that it would have been really cool to do this video with a four star domino, but I guess the game doesn't want me to do that. So I'm going to upgrade her the best I can and then we'll try her out in the game and we will see how well she does. So yeah, I got her at three star. Hopefully with the event that they got, they got an event coming up. Basically it's either Unity or Luck. I'm not sure which tag they are going to require, 
But yeah, it's basically just an event and you just get orbs throughout out the event. So here's hoping that maybe I'll even get her up to a five star and I'll have a decent uh, domino later on. So I'm gonna go gear her up best I can and we'll see how things go. All right guys, so I'm back and I got her up to about tier nine and a half, as you can see here, and level 65. And I got her abilities for 6553. And I got her up to ability 26,000 even, interestingly enough. And so if you guys are wondering, that was with me purchasing the extra offers that the game came with when I unlocked her. So when I unlocked her, it also came up with another offer for some gold. And it came up with about another offer for three separate offers of 100 for T3 abilities. So I purchased all those just so I can get that there. So this is basically what I was able to get her up to. So let's go over her abilities real quick. She's got her four abilities here. Her basically is called the Lucky Shot. And uh, I liked it. Uh, the reason why I maxed this one's uh, T3 is because it had the uh, gain and assist from random X-Force ally. Uh, basically all the time. So before it was like 70%, now it's all the time. So she's got attack primary target, 460% damage, gain, 50% crit chance for this attack. So that's pretty good basic. Uh, you don't really probably need a T for it because it just adds a bunch more damage. Quite a bit more damage actually. 50% compared to the 30% for the others. Her special fire in the hole so if Deadpool is an ally, transfer all negative effects from self and each X-Force ally to Deadpool. Fill speed bar for Deadpool by 60%. Attack the most injured enemy for 230 damage. All adjacent enemies for 200 damage too. So this one basically upgraded again. It's an extra 40% uh, for putting in a T4. Fill speed bar for Deadpool by an extra 20%. So it makes it a lot more better and does a lot more damage also. Uh, the T4 might would be uh, pretty useful for this one. Uh, it's got, you start off with three charges and it's got two more. So basically it doesn't start off with you using it right away because you know you got, want the other team to put some uh, negative effects on you. And this basically acts as a heal for Deadpool essentially. Cause uh, when he uh, cleanses, uh, clears them all, with uh, his passive, he gets a big heal. So that's pretty cool. Uh, no scope. Attack primary target for 230% damage. Applied disrupted. That's actually really, really helpful. Uh, rebound chain to two to three adjacent targets for 160% damage. If this character is below 50% health, rebound chain to five targets instead. And uh, dodge breaks the chain. So putting in an extra one will increase it by another 40%, uh, another 40% and rebound will do three characters instead of two to three uh, with about 50% health. So yeah, that'd be all right. And this is where we get to what we really like is the passive, the lucky lady, because this also includes her offensive abilities for X-Force. So on spawn, full speed bar by 10%. On X Force Allies' turn, 50% chance to apply evade to that ally. Gain 10% dodge chance. X Force Allies gain 10% dodge chance. Gain 10% crit damage. X Force Allies gain 10% crit damage. Apply negative 10 crit damage to all enemies. And basically, when I put another one in here, on spawn, fill speed bar by another 5%. And the apply negative 5% crit damage to all enemies, another 5%. So that's actually pretty useful and 25% to a chance to apply it evade. Did I see anything there for evade? I didn't see anything there for evade yet, so that might be something. So a T4 would actually be pretty useful on her. Uh, on the war offense, so when you're actually using her in war for what she's used for, on spawn, reduce speed bar for all enemies by 5%, apply offense up for all X-Force allies. So everyone's going to be doing crazy damage at the very, very beginning. So yeah, Domino seems like she's a pretty cool character to have and she will make the X-Force characters pretty useful. Another thing I thought was interesting, if you actually go over here, there's a character in the game that I thought was odd that they didn't... Well, basically, these are all the X-Force characters. I see one, two, three, four, five. We got X-23, 
Negasonic. Interesting thing about Negasonic, she's not technically actually been part of the X-Force. She's actually mostly, well recently in the comics, she's basically just been Deadpool's secretary. Like hilariously secretary. Because, you know, basically Deadpool, he has his own uh, mercenary thing going on and she's getting him the jobs and he's like did you get the job and she's like i've been on the phone so it's been kind of but yeah she hasn't actually been an actual member of the x-force officially that i could see and i'm been reading the comics for quite a few years so i thought that was kind of interesting that they had, that they threw her in there with an x-force tag but that's not the thing that i wanted to talk about uh, I thought it was interesting because Storm in the game actually has synergy with X-Force and for whatever reason they decide not to like give her an official take. So if you look at her uh, Ride the Wind, she has 40% chance to grant assist to self or random X-Men or X-Force ally. So basically until you get your other two characters for the X-Force, Storm will be a good uh, sub-in for that empty spot. So, now let's get... I'm going to create a Blitz team and we will try them out in Blitz. Alright guys, so this is the team that I'm going to go with. I'm using Storm as you can see there. And I'm using Colossus just because it will get... Everyone here will get a little bit extra synergy and he does give a little bit even more synergy with Storm there. Like I was thinking of either him or her or even Phoenix probably but I don't know I just thought I'd go with Colossus just because it has a tank to the team. So here we go. Uh, let's see we got this is going to be in a tier 7 and don't really want to do those guys. Don't really want to do that. Oh wait. Nah. Uh, no, I don't really want to do it because I want her to stay alive a little bit longer and she's got a very powerful that person there. Maybe I'll do this team here just because uh, it's their support characters. On uh, here, yeah, she'll probably kill. There's a lot of AoE here, so she'll probably just do die. So I'm going to do this team here. It's not full Guardians because they got the uh, Yondu there, so... And he'll probably die pretty quickly anyways. Hope everyone's enjoying their black quarter team. All right, so I'm gonna do this all in the uh, slow motion, like the, just so we can see all the animations. Drax does his first thing. All right, so. Look at that. Oh, she wouldn't say it. So they've done upgrades with uh, Deadpool and Cable for the X-Force team also. So basically, as long as Domino is alive, Deadpool should revive when, like with 80% health. And uh, Cable gives, as long as he, every time he gets like a charge, he gives X-Force characters speed buff. Yeah, have fun trying to kill my Storm, because my Storm is a 5 star and 5 red, 7 yellow, so she'll be a hard one to kill. So we got Deadpool here, he's going to do his uh, special, I like his special actually. So right here is where she would actually toss all of the negative effects to Deadpool, but since he does, there's none on the party, he doesn't get it. And I really like her animation. Like I actually like that one because, you know, it's like a uh, hacky sack. And there goes Dane. Just for the heck of it, let's get rid of Yondu.
don't want to kill Groot just yet, just because he's got his revive, which is super annoying, as most of you probably know. And so yeah, basically if I and also when he dies, he'll just buff up the rest of the people. So I want to get rid of him last. Man, some of these people have some really cool animations. Hopefully we'll get a kill animation from Domino. Oh, that's a pretty neat one. <laughs> Just a kick in the face right there. Dang, he's just going like crazy. Bruce nice and stunned. Oh, it looks like we got the final kill animation from Cable here. Alright, so as you can see, with a uh, slightly underpowered uh, Domino, I was able to uh, do a tier 7 Blitz. Oh, okay, so what do I think about I think her, kill her animations in the game are really, really cool. I do like her kit quite a bit. And uh, do I think she's worth it? I definitely think she's worth trying to get her in the event. She's definitely going to probably be the heart and soul of the team. Uh, if you need a good war offensive team, because most of the teams that they have now are war defense teams, so there really aren't that many great war offense teams out there. Like, of course, there are, you know, there's Fantastic Four and uh, the Black War. You know, you can make a huge list of good teams that are good for uh, offense in a war, but there really isn't that many uh, war specific. The only real more specific offense is the actual Fantastic Four. And again, that actually kind of, no one liked that one because uh, Namor, everyone likes Namor, everyone wants to use Namor, but he's only really useful in the odd blitz and war offense. So, yeah, he basically was a character that had a lot of high potential, but the people ended up missing out on that. So I'm hoping that Domino will be something like that, where basically she's only good for war offense type of thing and you know no other part of the game you know it's because you want to basically have cool characters that you can invest in and if you can't really invest into her like when you invest in her and all you get is just one war offense team well that's kind of a waste and you want to invest in other areas of the game like uh for example i want to get my cyclops my yeah cyclops up quite a bit just so that i can uh move uh my uh, storm out of the game, out of the X-Men team, or work on other characters for tier 14, so I can get a better team for my uh, Dark Dimensions 3, which Dark Dimensions 3 is super, super hard. But anyways, I'm getting off topic. What do I think of the uh, Domino character? I think she's great. I like her as a character in the comics. I think she has some pretty killer animations in the game. I look forward to using her in a war offense later on. So do I recommend her? Try and get her if you can. If you're free to play, don't bother. Just do the event. If you're a whale, you're going to get her anyways. So yeah, that's what I think. She's a great character. You'll enjoy her once you start using her. So have yourself a good day, a good night, and uh, peace. Oh, and a good night. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the left and check out one of my other videos on the right. And hit a like below. So thanks, everyone. Bye.